What's up, Beast? This is Donnie Tudor of Beast Athletes. Today, my goal is to take some of the fear out of squat, bench, and deadlift. Um, being in, a, in an area like, uh, like Northwest Montana, bluntly, we're, we're a little behind on a lot of things as a community. Um, one of the things that we are behind on is our true education and knowledge in the fitness industry. There's a lot of wives' tales that are kind of still out there and they're being accepted as, you know, cold hard truth, things like that, and as factual things. Now, so for the past five years, going on six now, um, I'm working really hard to kind of do a lot of experiments, see what works, see what doesn't work. And I've, I'm comfortable enough now to really throw out some, some information that I've found that I really feel like can sway some people, maybe change some people's minds on some things. So. Here's the, here's the general misconception. Squat, bench, and deadlift is bad for you. It's gonna hurt your knees, it's gonna hurt your shoulders, it's gonna hurt your back, it's gonna hurt your neck, it's gonna hurt your hips. If you squat, bench, and deadlift a lot, eventually you're not gonna be able to move anymore. Um, bluntly, that's not true. Now, yes, if you squat, bench, and, and deadlift with poor form, absolutely. One of the biggest things that I see walking into a gym with squat, for example, People will come down, their knees will go way forward, their whole body falls forward, and then when they try and squat up, their butt shoots up, and then their shoulders hinge out, and they're like, wow, why do my knees hurt? Well, all the weight went forward into your knees, and that's where all the pressure was. Wow, why does my back hurt? Well, when you pushed, your butt shot up, and then all the pressure immediately went to your lower back to hinge out like a crane picking something up. So if you pick up something out here, it's gonna be really hard. If you pick up something here, it's gonna be much easier. There's things like that. If you learn how to move correctly on squat, bench, and deadlift, it's not gonna hurt you. It's going to improve your life dramatically, just on your quality of life alone. Your back will feel better. Your shoulders will feel better. Your knees will stop hurting. Only if you take the time to learn how to do it correctly. That's a huge investment. First off, it could be a financial investment because if you don't know how to, you're probably gonna have to hire somebody to teach you how to do it correctly. There's a chance that you take with that though. Maybe that person says they know how to do it correctly. Maybe they actually don't. There's a risk with that. Um, so you have to you know, tread lightly on that. Make sure you hire a coach that has people that can give referrals to say, you know, hey, yeah, my back feels better, my shoulder feels better, this, that, or the other thing has improved. Sometimes you'll work with somebody and uh, you'll find out quickly that that wasn't the case. And maybe the people that you work with or that you've talked to that have worked with that person will tell you like, you know what, no, I actually stopped working with that person because I got hurt. Those type of things happen and that is one of the risks that go with hiring somebody. So if you're not comfortable with that, maybe go to YouTube and finding some things that you can read and educate yourself. That's great, but that takes a big investment as well. It might not be a fiscal investment where you're trading time for money and um, education being given to you by somebody, but then you're trading hours and hours, reading, watching, experimenting on your own. You may hurt yourself, you may not. You may find it right away and it just works for you. But there is that risk because if you already don't know what you're doing, then you're relying on your perception of what you're reading. That could go really well for you. That might not go well for you at all. But in the six years that I've been training, I've been very, very, very lucky. I've had two injuries. One of those injuries um, was on a hex bar deadlift that starts you actually in a higher position. We were doing a max out at the time and a couple cues. Sit back, keep your chest up, don't yank the bar off the ground. First thing the guy to try and does is yank the bar off the ground and immediately as soon as he tries to yank it, his face, you can tell he's, he's in pain and then he finishes it out. Okay, good job, you're tough, but that was a really poor decision. He puts it down and he immediately takes a knee. I'm like, hey, what happened? My lower back, as soon as I yanked the bar, it hurt. Okay, well, what do we need to do differently next time? Well, I, I can't yank the bar like that because it hurts. That actually ended up being kind of a long-term injury that we had to work through and it ended in the guy not really wanting and feeling comfortable coming back to the gym. But we broke one of the rules there. We broke the rule of not yanking the bar off the ground, which pulls us out of position, which takes our technique and our form away. And if you can't lift with good technique and good form, you're probably gonna get hurt. It's a great example. Another, um, I had a guy actually tear his pec 
Worked with this guy for about six to nine months. And uh, good athlete. He's a, he's a local roller. He's a coach there. But certain things didn't want to listen to. Well, you know, when you come down on a bench press, you want to stay tight in the transition and keep your lats tight and everything. He had a habit of getting down, dropping the bar, and then trying to bounce it off of his chest. Kept working with him. Hey, man, can't do that. We got to fix it. And we take some steps on it, but then we get heavier and we revert to those bad habits. And uh, finally, one day, he's warming up, bounces the bar, goes to push, and he immediately goes. Ended up tearing his pec. Really, really unfortunate, but one of those things where if you follow the rules that are laid out and you follow them diligently, you don't get injured. In the last six years, I've trained over 100 clients, trained thousands of sessions, power lifters, rehab, cancer, cerebral palsy, all sorts of different things. And those are the two injuries that I've had because we have gone and done things extremely correctly. And on those two injuries, we broke rules. We did not follow the rules that we set. We got anxious, we got excited, and we did what we were not supposed to, trying to get an edge. So to me, I base 100% of what I do off the three power moves, squat, bench, and deadlift, and I've had two injuries. Now, the majority, the vast, vast, vast majority of the rest of my clients, they've all experienced their lower back pain alleviated. Nothing will ever just go away permanently. Yes, you will have soreness and things like that, but lower back pain, mid back pain, issues in their neck, issues in their shoulder. I teach things on a double cross. You cross at your shoulder line, you cross at your waistline, and then you have a T that goes up, makes a double cross. Those, in, those areas are where all of your long-term nagging injuries that affect your quality of life are. You, if you pull a bicep or you pull a hamstring, things like that, they happen. That's part of it when you push your body, certain things can go, but nothing structural has happened and it has been a great improvement in quality of life for every one of my clients. Even some new clients that I work with, they were told point blank, don't do this because your back is hurt, you can't do this, it won't be fixed. One of the guys has uh, done concrete his entire life since the time he was like 13, 14 years old. Bending over, tying rebar out, smoothing stuff out, his back was in a really bad place. We've been training at it for a year. His back has never been as healthy as it is right now. He can do RDLs. He can do all sorts of different movements that rely on the hinge at the lower back. And he's squatting, benching, and deadlifting, getting stronger, not to, de not to power lift or anything like that, just simply to improve his strength. So as he continues to get older, he's able to take care of himself longer and longer. And that's what a lot of people don't realize. We're not all in here training just to power lift. We're in here training to where when you get in your late 60s, early 70s, you can still move. You can sit down on the couch. You can get out of bed. You can sit down on the toilet. You can get yourself in the car. You can take care of yourself longer. You can be there longer for your children. You can be there longer for your grandchildren. And in some cases, your great-grandchildren. Is that quality of life there that we are going after? And, is that, and that quality of life has been elevated so much by three simple movements being a squat, bench, and deadlift. So yes, there are certain things where squat might not be the thing for you. If you have fused back, whatever it may be, yes, there is always gonna be some form of an extenuating circumstance. But if we have people with one leg, deadlifting and squatting, if we have people with cerebral palsy, where the whole right side of their body doesn't work correctly, squat, bench, deadlift, doing everything like a normal person would. If we have people recovering from heart attacks, people recovering from extreme obesity, trimming down, people who can't put weight on because of their diets and we get their nutrition figured out and they're finally able to put on weight for the first time in their life and everybody walking through the doors using these power movements to get healthier. And that's how consistent it's been here. I highly recommend that you try it as well. I'm not telling you guys to come in here. I'm telling you guys to get proper education on squat, bench, and deadlift from somebody who can very proficiently teach you. Now, we're in Kalispell, Montana. Brandon Allen is based out of Las Vegas, Nevada. Phenomenal coach, he's my coach. But he uses squat, bench, deadlift, shoulder press. Stacy Burr, Joe Sullivan, Matt Mitchell, um, Chris Goddard, Rick Simmons. Um, I can literally go across the country and name very good coaches that can help you in person, help you online. But if you find somebody who can help you understand and properly move the barbell with squat, bench, and deadlift, I can guarantee you right now, if you move these movements correctly for your body, 
you will notice a substantial improvement in your quality of life that will carry over to your home life that will carry over to something as simple as driving an hour to you know to whitefish or driving two hours down to missoula having to go to an airport sitting in the airport for the day whatever it may be simple things like that sitting at your desk getting up off the couch all those normal tasks that we take for granted every day will become easier and then things that work if you work construction if you work any form of a labor job that will get better if you sit at a desk all day that will become more comfortable your posture will improve there's nothing that this cannot improve if done correctly just like anything so i highly recommend that you take the time to get educated so you can do it correctly let us know if you guys need help with that if you need a in-person coach we know coaches all over the place if you guys need online coaches we know coaches all over all over the place and we offer that as well but don't be so afraid of something that could help your life dramatically to where you just don't even give yourself the opportunity to benefit from what that could be. So again, hit us up if you guys have any questions. This is what we do, this is what we love to do. And it's not just us. We can steer you guys in the right direction for whoever you are, wherever you are, and whatever your goals are. So hopefully this helps you maybe accept the power movements into your life as a non-competitive lifter as someone simply competing or someone simply lifting to have a better life every single day. So thanks for tuning in guys.